We're looking at a decorator from the Funk Tools module, which actually has a few different decorators. And this one specifically allows us to cache the results of various function calls. So here we have the Fibonacci function. This is a very famous problem in computer science. And the sequence that the Fibonacci function generates looks like this. One, one, two, three, five, eight, etc. Now, if you haven't been able to catch on to the pattern, the way it works is the first two values are one, and then the next value is equal to the previous two values summed together. So the basic idea is write some Fibonacci function where it gives you the value of n, so what the term n is equal to, and the way you calculate that is by simply calculating what the previous term is, and then what the second previous term is, and then adding those values together. So just as a simple illustration here, I'm going to call the Fibonacci function here with a value of 40. Now you'll notice that I don't actually get an immediate result, and to be honest with you, I'm not sure how long this is going to take, because this is a very, very poor time complexity algorithm, and we're going to run a lot of times continually doing the same computation that we've already calculated. So you can see here, even while I'm talking, it still isn't finished. And there you go, it just finished now. That took about 10 to 15 seconds. And I wanna show you what happens now when we add a simple cache. So here's a modified version of the function now where we actually wrote in our own cache. This is us doing it customly. And you'll see that when I run the code now, we instantly get the result.